A year without answers, and then a break in the case, a story that was featured in Case Files. Now the family of Leticia Flores has a chance at justice. Here's ITM reporter Christina Williams with this week's Case Files. I hear my mother cry, my dad cry, the pain, the, the, losing their daughter, and then my nieces and my nephew. It was, it, was, it was really, really rough for all of us. Living a nightmare for nearly a year, friends and family of Leticia Flores have spent months processing her death. It was the morning of August 12, 2023. Flores was out on the town in Toledo and ended the night at O'Shea's Bar on West Sylvania. The group she was with walked out and were headed to their cars. Flores was crossing the street when tragedy struck. She was hit by a passing car and the mother of five died at the scene. A police report indicates the driver was traveling at a high rate of speed. She failed to show insurance and refused a field sobriety test. Family knew who was behind the wheel that night and dealt with months of frustration waiting for charges. This past week, after nearly a year, a break in the case. My whole body instant chills and I just like cried and bawled. I'm like, God, about freaking time. Like, thank you. Almost a year. It's been too long. It's been way too long. Like, things should have been taken care of a long time ago. Kamani Edwards was indicted on aggravated vehicular homicide linked to the death of Leticia Flores. For her sister, Bianca, it's another step towards healing. I could, all I could do is cry. Just happiness. I'm not fully happy being my sister's not here, but I'm happy that something's finally getting done. It's not going to make anything better. It's not because it's not going to bring my sister back, but it's a start. Edwards is set to be arraigned on the charge August 1st at 9 a.m. in Lucas County Common Pleas Court. And if you have an unsolved case that needs attention, email me, casefiles at 13abc.com. Reporting for the I-Team, Christina Williams, 13 Action News.